All right, guys, we're pre-staking the water line here. Uh, got some water down in this one this year, a lot more than last year. So we're gonna throw in some pockets along this bank here. Uh, caught a mink out of here a couple years ago. So just get that bank sheared off and hopefully it's not too sandy. Get that pocket drill back in there. Oh, I'm going to be running them pretty heavy this year. Uh, trying for four sets to a bridge where the water allows. So Here's what I'm using for those of you guys that are unfamiliar. No BS chain drowners. I love them. You guys are probably getting one heck of an echo from me underneath of this bridge here. But oh well. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Get my, they got a wolf fang on the anchor of them, or on the end of them, sorry. Run that out to this deep water out here. Get that baby staked in there. Uh, and then what I do, make sure that chain's tight. Uh, just kind of give it a couple twists and then shove it all the way in. Um, and I just leave my trap right in front of the pocket there. So we're gonna get a couple more in here too, while we're down here. Uh, three more actually if you guys do the math so see if we can't get another one in here somewhere i'd like for these banks to be a little steeper but really on a year like this year with how low the water is i'm really just working with what i got so these are about two and a half three feet apart um i got all the chains on my traps shortened up to where they're only about six inches so that's going to help with this. Get that shovel in there. And shove it in, twist, and then pull it. Pull that plug right out of there. Do so one more here. Good measure. That's some good clay there. Uh, and I'll, I'll doll them up when I come through to set them. Uh, right now, just pre-staking. I just want to get the bulk of the work done. Get my traps in and get out of here. So... I like to really slick them up, make them look nice and pretty. There's a rock there. Hopefully we can get it in there somewhere. You guys can tell I don't shove that stake all the way in until after I can get this wolf fang in there. So this baby's all caked up with mud too. Now when I'm checking this water line, I, I think I'm gonna do the similar look to when I was beaver trapping. Uh, kind of that second person view. Uh, I think you guys will get more out of it that way. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Oh yeah, she went in right there. Perfect. Just grab this chain. You guys can tell I'm breathing hard. Bridge trapping will get you in shape. There's two. Now uh, the reason why I'm trying to get so many in along here is we're so restricted this year on where the deep water is. Like I'm gonna try and put another one in right here too. Uh, just because that's the next deepest spot. So when you guys see there's coon tracks everywhere. I'm probably gonna see how steep this bank is. I'd like to carve it in right there and run it, run it out here to this deeper water. It might get a little steeper in here. So we're gonna go right there shave off a little bit of that bank before I get it as steep as I want to and guys by no means am I a water trapper uh, I'll never claim to be one really but I think it's really fun I'll never know what you're gonna go down the bridge and find in your traps I'm kind of just running my one of my beaver trapping routes this year uh, it seems to be the only creeks that got any water in them that last rain that we got really helped things. So get that stake in there. Slide my drowner lock up. You guys can see I'm wearing wearing wrist gloves. It's about 40 degrees out right now, so beautiful trapping weather. Beautiful weather to be out here. 
get that stake shoved in there all the way. My trap set right there. Uh, I want to get this one last one thrown in here. So we'll try and find us another deeper spot. I got a feeling I'm going to probably have to go upstream a little bit. You guys can see we just got the <laughs> we got it set up and ready for them if they want to work right there so also got some fish sticks with me so if we can't get another pocket in here i'll roll with them but there's actually a deep pool right here I'm wondering if i can't get a pocket in right here We're about to find out could be sandy we'll see a little sandy not too bad it's pretty sandy. We'll see if we can get a pocket to hold in here or not. If you can keep it, I've found that if you can keep it in these sandy ones, if you can keep from the water lapping against the, the mouth of that pocket, that it seems to not erode away quite as fast. So I like it. Again, I'm not a water trapper, but I think that'll catch some coons. This will be the, the third location I've done today. Got done with class at about two, and now we're out here trying to get after this pre-stake, and there we go. Also got some wood and wire uh, drowners for some sandier areas. I've been told they work pretty good in the sand. So. I got a couple bridges in mind that I'm gonna be definitely trying those out on. Some real sandy ones, but got this deep pool. Uh-oh. I'm on a rock here's how i do it i grab this chain uh, if i hit a rock and then i can just pull it right back up uh, that way i don't have to get up to my elbows deep in water there we go right there perfect so far on these three that i've these three bridges i've been at perfect for drowning coons so there we go guys that's one bridge down we'll get out of here well, beavers got a little dam going in here. Uh, kind of glad they do, because it's holding back a lot of water. Let's see if I can get a pocket in over here somewhere. Maybe. The problem is, is there's all this grass growing up in all these creeks because they were so dry all summer. It's making it a pain in the rear. I got to get it all out of here because my chain drowners aren't going to work very good. They're getting all wrapped up in that stuff so maybe we'll just use the, the shovel and start whacking oh yeah that's some nice dirt there need to shear that bottom lip off there just just a scotch and plenty of water in here though I and mean, i'm up to my knees right now get that pocket just kind of formed in there so I can find it it really sticks out now I want to get to the other side of this creek I'm not sure exactly how deep it is it's crazy because I beaver trapped this I've noticed that a lot with a lot of stuff this year a lot of stuff I beaver trapped I beaver trapped it hard and still plenty of beaver around it seems but also, as far as beavers go, if they didn't dam up a creek this summer, they probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have survived so low. So, get that driven in out there. Perfect depth. This is kind of a real, a minky style creek. Big grassy one. There are some big den trees on it, so definitely some kin too. But get another trap. See if we can't get another one in over here uh, kind of like to go in this little inlet deal right here but it looks like it might just be all grass I'm about to find out all grass and vines and all that fun stuff it's another problem with beavers flood stuff out oh I think I can get one in there I just gotta shear that 
bank off and get a lot of this grass and garbage out of here and we'll be in business. This would be a great spot for a caster mound too. Just don't get me wrong, when we're running this water line, I'm gonna bring some of the old 85s with me. Don't you guys worry. Get that cleaned out back in there. <laughs> Good dirt. Solid enough to make a great pocket. Yeah, weak enough to where I can actually dig in it, so that's nice. Got a trap unraveled here. You guys can see this water trapping <laughs> a lot slower than dry land trapping, at least for me. I don't exactly have it down to a science yet per se. But get that wolf thing in out there. I want to cross this creek. I'm going to try to here in a second. So that ought to be entertaining if I flood my waders. For you guys, not for me. That'd be pretty, pretty cold. Got my two other traps in here. We'll march down this direction. Beavers are going up and chewing on stuff over there. All right, we're gonna try it. See how deep they got it. Well, I'm not crossing by the dam because I guarantee you over there it's deep. I'm just about guarantee you. Oh, here's their channel right here, where they've been going. Be a great spot for um, 330. These banks are pretty steep right there. Whoa. Wondering if the banks are gonna be just as steep over here. I'd like to be able to get my trap in four or six inches of water at least. That's too, too steep as well. That gum beavers causing all these problems. Let's go upstream a little bit, maybe. Oh, this stuff's deep. I know I've said that a million times, but I'm not joking. <laughs> it's pretty deep. Let's see what the bank's like over here. I think I can make a make a spot in there. We'll see though, a lot of grass, a lot of them thistles that I hate. If I can dig out a bed on the bank, then it'll still work out. I'm gonna stick that shovel in there and then pack that stuff down. So, it sounds like I had a truck stop up at the bridge, so that's nice. But we'll get these other two thrown in and get out of here, guys. Alrighty, we're at a spot that I'm gonna try something new at this year. You guys can see, got me some fish sticks made. So, I'm gonna stick one in, right in there. I want it a little higher off the water. Uh, kind of a new concept for me, so don't destroy me in the comments, but I gotta run them on drowners. I'm gonna be running them every other day, so. Got to be on drowners. I'm going to try and run them off. Get my stake thing here. I guess I shouldn't even have brought my shovel down. Oh well. Run this one kind of out. Maybe this direction. Oh, the only problem is I can see how I can probably end up with one snapped off trap at each of these. Uh, hopefully at least one of them's got a coon, but I'm gonna put one trap kind of on the bank side right there and another one right over there. I'm gonna try them out like that. See if I like them. Cause this spot you guys can see, there's no real, real good steep bank for a uh, pocket anywhere in here. So this is one of the bridges I wanted to try out these fish sticks on and see what happens. 
buttons. Flop my trap over there. Plus, this trick's got plenty of real deep water. So. If it's got water deep enough, I need to be trapping in it. Because there ain't many of them around this year. So, put that in there. Put that stake in the bottom. Okay. Now, I want to do one on the other side over there. So, we will make our merry way you guys can see it's she pretty deep in here got pretty shallow now here we're into some deep stuff again so i want to run another one uh, kind of right up here in this uh, shallower area here we go this is going to be the spot right here shove it in there that baby all the way down see how well my stakes hold it's more of kind of gravelly stuff so see what happens with it oh yeah i think that'll that'll hold them so far so good guys i'm very happy with the water level i'm not gonna have any problem at all drowning them on stuff i've been on so far so that's a good sign. There's a lot of water trappers that probably aren't going to be doing much this year because the water's so low. But I got to go try. You know, plus I know you guys probably get tired of watching coon after coon after coon all the time. So hopefully it's still that way. Just maybe mix it up just a little bit with a mink or a muskrat or something cool on this line. So. Got to get it ran out to this deep pocket out here. Just like that other one is. <sighs> that stake in there. Uh, I talked to a guy yesterday, actually. He thinks that I'm really going to like these things. So I'm sure he's right. I just got to mess with them enough. Kind of figure out what I, want, what, I, what I need to do with them. You can only learn so much from hearsay watching things a lot of learnings done from doing it and making mistakes that's how i learned almost almost everything was just going out and making mistakes and fixing them so there we go guys two fish sticks planked in here can't wait to see how they produce all right y'all we're scaling a a rock cliff here to try and make it down to this creek got some fish sticks with me them are otter tracks right there good maybe we'll catch one of them fish eating no good rotten things mink tracks in here too <clears throat> also some beaver chew sticks boy we just got sign all over the place oh you guys can see you got a really really deep pool out here so i'm gonna try and find a good spot for some fish sticks in here find a little bit shallower All right here's a good spot right in there good spot for one let's see here kind of thinking right at the end of this sandbar here too it looks like there's a lot of stuff climbing up right here run them out there that's what i'm thinking we'll put it right in I didn't oh there's a rock another rock dang it that would have been the most perfect set there ain't no getting around it either apparently that's a bummer about right here there we go right there I'll actually move it this way just a tad and now there's a rock wow I guess it's gotta gotta go right there. So hopefully my draw my strings for my sweatshirt aren't getting in y'all's way. Man, do we got some otter tracks along here? Holy smokes! Get these.
traps that I carried down here. I'm going to move one of them to right there. Right off this point. Run those drowners out there. Come to this one right here. Um, let's see. This I, I want to leave this one. I like where this one's at. It's that other one will move. It's in a little deeper water than I want it to be. I don't think it'll have much of a negative effect on my set, but let's see if I can get that top stake in there. There we go. Trap there. I'm really excited to try out these fish sticks. I do not want to step too far out here because that is deeper than I am tall. Oh, my wolf fang stuck to my driver. That happens sometimes in these sandier locations. It's kind of annoying, but we'll just try and pop it out of there. Uh, make sure that that anchor's set. Yeah, it's set, but we're going to need to roll this up a little bit here. that up that baby shoved down in there there's one hopefully we can snag that daggum otter i bet he's having a heyday down in here on whatever's swimming around in this pool that chain ringing up with my Wolf thing on there. That baby driven in there. That one didn't stick. That one's good. Just find my trap here quick and flop it up kind of towards the shallows. And grab this other fish stick here. I bet these otters are really having fun in all this sand. It looks like there's definitely more than one of them. I'm seeing a couple different size tracks, so. We'll see if we can't snag one. Um, I'm going to actually run these drowners out this way, I think. I'm thinking. Mm, right in there, maybe. Only problem is, I don't know if my stakes are going to hold very well. Right there. Uh... The problem is there's this big log right here, if you guys can see that. I'd love to put a one and a half on there for muskrats. Might actually bring one with me when we're setting this up. So we will, we're going to go right in there. That way we got, got them kind of catty cornered off this sandbar. Get them whatever way they want to go. This one ready to rip here. I will say this guys, my, my feet are a little cold in these uninsulated boots. You guys have seen me beaver trap and I wear insulated hip boots in the spring when I'm beaver trapping. I gotta get them sticks out of here. I wear insulated ones when I'm beaver trapping because that spring water's so cold. But of course, now we got rocks galore. Oh, well, I don't know what that's stuck in. Let's see if we can find a place to get this baby in here. Let's see if that grabbed. Yep, that one's in. I'll get that stake pushed all the way in there and grab this other one. I'm gonna have to run it out this way since that one's kind of running this way so like i said guys not a not a water trapper i don't claim to be i refuse to claim to be something i'm not so we're gonna get these put in here and i'm ex i'm more than excited for this line this is gonna be the second and 
third week we're going to be on this one so if you guys want to watch some water trapping you know when it's coming but for now we got two fish sticks thrown in here we'll get out of here guys all righty as you guys can see we're in a big tube uh got a nice pool beneath it so trapped this last year had very good results my old pocket's still even here it's right there just scoop it out a little bit get a little bit of the silt out of it if you guys can see that it's right there i wonder if my other one's still in here too i know it was over here somewhere it was over it's right there huh they're both still here that's funny made the digging job easy on this one i seem to clear all this grass out of the way let's see right here you guys probably can't see anything but it's hard for me to do what i need to do and get it all on film at the same time get that baby dug back out i knew it was good clay in here but I didn't think it'd hold a pocket for a whole year. By golly, it proved me wrong. I'm going to try and put, I think, probably four in here this year. Oh, boy. Don't want to be falling in here. Too deep. Probably still chest deep out there in the center of this. So, got to be careful. I want to get a pair in on the other side of this. But... We'll see, I know there's some rocks and stuff over there, so I actually need to angle this over a little bit more so my coon aren't touching when they get drowned. Right there. There. Just like that. Last year I think I had two floaters here. I only had two traps here last year. I think I had two floaters here three days in a row. So and the crop rotation, I would argue, is better around it this year than it was last year. There's only about half corn, half beans. Last year, this year, it's all corn. So I got a feeling there's going to be a lot to coon going through here. I'm just glad it's got enough water in it still. I believe there's actually a spring on the other side in the ditch. That keeps flowing through here and it keeps it pretty full. I'm about to go you know, swimming. Get that baby driven down in there. Alright, so we got our two pockets there. Now let's head on over to the other side. Grab my two other traps. Walk the tight rope across the edge of this deep deep pool here over here i think i can at least get one more in here i don't know about two but there was when i pulled up here there's a ton of frogs taking off so let's see what we can make happen over here i know it's pretty oh yeah Good old clay. Nice blue clay. Nice to stick to the old shovel. Give us another pocket dug out. Hitting a rock now, so it's gonna have to do. Get this other foothold. Plugged in, hopefully. Yep, right in there. And it gets really deep, right beyond my my right foot. I can't even touch the bottom uh, if I'm just standing up here trying to feel for it. So she's pretty deep out there. That's where we're gonna run this baby to. Hopefully they go off that ledge and we're done for. Now, do you guys think we can get another one in here? That's the question. I don't know because there's a lot of 
rock right here I don't think it's gonna work very well so we're just gonna put the three in here I think that's more than enough to cover this uh, for a couple checks anyway so we'll get out of here all right guys we're wrapping up for the day today uh, good day got about 60 traps out of uh, only about three hours of three hours of pre staking that's pretty dang good for the water uh, for me so I just wanted to show you guys this culvert here I ended up I'm gonna do a slap and go underneath that root ball I punched in a little hole there so we're gonna throw some smear bait up in there and I actually got a pocket in underneath of that big boulder over there so that's how we set this one up uh, I got 16 locations done about 55 to 60 traps uh, I haven't got an exact count yet but we'll be rolling on this water stuff all day tomorrow guys so hoping to have a good day get 100 or 120 of these traps out and We'll keep rolling all week long on this water stuff. So looks good. Water looks really good. Uh, anyways, y'all, till tomorrow. Thank you for watching.